My name is John Scrooby. I represent a company in California that builds and maintains clay tennis and bocce courts. Today I want to show you how we maintain a clay court with a red surface. Today we're on a hard true sprinkler type court. Traditionally hard true courts are green in color. It's a green stone. But we're in the Napa Valley again and we're working on a hard true court with a red brick dust surface. This is a hybrid type of court. Uh, many tennis players love this red color, this red surface. Minds them of the European style clay courts. The key element that we want to be aware of today in the maintenance is that we keep a separation between the green hard true base material and the red brick dust surface. Okay, again we're here, down here on the red surface. I'm going to take a look at exactly how this court is put together. Again, traditionally a hard true court is made out of a green um, stone material. But what, we're, what we've done with this hybrid type court is we've built a standard hard true court and then we've um, let the court settle in and then we've added about an eighth of an inch of brick dust on the initial with on the initial surface. Here, here we're going to take a look at here's here we have the brick dust over the top of the surface. We're going to scrape the brick dust back. You can see that it's formed a pretty hard it's formed a pretty hard surface over the green. We dig it down a little bit and we start exposing the green. That's that's the hard true court right there. Get a little bit more green here. And you can see how the red, how the red seals off the green. And so it really adds for a, lo a longer um, longevity on the green hard true material. And you're just, you're just wearing and you're just working the red. And so all you're doing in the maintenance is just Renewing, renewing the red material. Okay, now, here we are on the red surface again. Now we're gonna look at one of the problems that happens on a red surface is kind of the moss and algae buildup and the, the court gets hard and crusty. Okay, let's take a look down here. Here you can see, you can see the moss buildup here. You can see that this area here, you can hear by the sound that it's quite hard and crusty. You see the green's pushed up here a little bit. Here's the, here's the, here's the green moss and algae build up here. You can remove it by hand like that, but if your entire court is, has this kind of stuff, then I'm going to demonstrate a machine that's going to take care of this. Okay, we're back on the surface here. We've made a pass with the with the machine rotivator, and this is what we have. On this side, we have the hard surface with a little moss build up here. You can hear the sound over here. Now we have nice powdery material. Again, the pass was like that. Now we we're back to nice powdery, nice brick dust material and that will be broomed. The whole court can be done this way. We broom, broom the court, water it, and the court is complete. All the hard areas, moss and algae are gone, and the court's ready to play. As we wrap up the maintenance on this uh, hybrid style clay tennis court, we just performed a standard maintenance on the surface of this, removed the moss and algae, broke up the hard and crusty spots, 
of loosened up the whole surface over the whole court, broomed the court, watered the court, rolled the court, ready for play. The key element on this type of a hybrid court is to keep a separation between the green, hard, true base foundation of the court and the brick dust that is used as a surface for this court. My name is John Scrooby and I thank you for your time.